In this video, I want to demonstrate a problem from the homework in experience seven. This is question 14, and this is in essence a backwards problem. Notice they've given you all these problems. They give you some baseline info. They're always giving you the mean, the standard deviation, and now we're almost always given a sample size. So I have transcribed that over into my uh, writing space over here. But this question is different because they are giving you a probability. They are giving you an area under that normal curve. And they want to know, in essence, what is this tick mark right here? What is the weight such that 14% of the time the mean will be greater than that weight. So this is a backwards problem. But we still need to use all of our tools just in a backwards orientation. So we want to find this orange tick mark. Just by looking at this image, I know it's going to have to be larger than the mean. One of our tools that we will use a lot as you've noticed, is the z-score formula. But because this is applying to the mean weight, right, this is x bar, and this is sigma over square root of n in the denominator. Consider all the elements that we know here and the elements that are unknown. We are given the mu, the mean, we have the sample size, we have the standard deviation. The question is about the x bar. Right? We want to find what I am circling in blue here. But we also don't know the z-score that connects to it. But we certainly can find that z-score by looking in the z-table for the z-score that connects to point 0.14 in the upper right tail. So remember the z table is gives you probabilities in the left tail. So we need to not look up 0.14, we want to look up 0.86. And then we will find the z score that connects with 0.86. Let's look at the z table. Because this is a backwards problem, I need to look for 0.86. Remember this? It's in the mess, right? You're looking for 0.86 up in this business here. And I think I've identified it. Remember we said you're going to get a value that's a little above 0.86 and a value that's a little below. So between these two values, those are the two closest ones. And I believe this one on the left is the closer one. The z value, the z score that connects to it, do do do, is 1.08. Right? I'm in the row that says 1.0 in the column that says 0.08. So the z score is 1.0. 1.08 and we're going to plug that in for z along with all the other elements that we know. So I'm putting 1.08 for z. The x bar circled in blue is unknown. That's what we are solving for. And in the denominator, we've got the 38 over square root of 14. So I'm going to, I realized just a moment ago that I should have had a sample size of 10. Whoops. And so I'm, that only affects my work up to this point here. That did not affect my z-score acquisition. So I'm going to calculate 38 over square root of 10, which is about 12.0166. 
Now we need to solve for x bar. So I'm going to multiply both sides by that 12.01, and that's going to multiply the 1.08. So I believe I can just type this in. And on the left side now, I've got 12.977. That's on the left side, and on the right side, I've got x bar minus 498. So we're only one step away to solve for x bar. I just need to add 498 to both sides. To get us 510 point about 98, 510.98 about. So let's go type that into the answer field and see that it's correct. 510.98 and it says to answer to the nearest gram so since 510.98 I'm going to enter 511. That's delightful.